Hi guys, Asantosh Singh here, and uh, this is a very quick demo video of WP DG Pro. So this is the settings area of WP DG Pro, and currently I don't have any add-on installed. So first tab, you see all the payment gateways which we are giving away in core version, that is PayPal and to check out, and we have developers mode also for that your testing purpose. And pages, you set all the pages like successful redirect after successful payment, what will be the redirect page? After fail payment, where users will be heading, custom slug, right? And all the page short codes for login dashboard and other pages. And in this email templates area, you set all the emails which will be fired as soon as a particular activity happens. For example, this mail will be sent to admins when a one sale is made. And here you see short codes which you can use in this particular default body section. In user dashboard section you can upload logo your background image currently this will be the default but you can upload your own logo here your own background image position of menu can be set right currently it's here but you can check it horizontal also and all these button colors etc of the dashboard these can be changed from this tab add-ons all the licenses of paid add-ons will be mentioned here and in other settings area you would mention your license renewal policy, its link, the currency. So all these things are in settings area. The reporting, we have all the reporting tools. As in, based on product revenues, you can draw the graph. You can have a graphical look, which product is setting, uh, selling better, which is not. Right? And similarly, revenue report, you see daily basis report on what how many revenues are you generating per day basis. right? And in re a renew report, you see what all renewals has been happened till date and in this particular download option you download all the expired licenses the email ids which uh, has expired licenses in transactions you see all the transactions which have been made so far like all these tabs will be coming here what was the payment mode what was you know the email id of the user etc and customers you manage all your customers their details their licensing etc if someone has bought for example two products when you click on this name it will show you what all products they have bought what are the licenses uh, associated with those products similarly other things in click tracking you can create your custom uh, click tracking for example if you are running fb ad right you can add create up your custom url by creating custom uh, this thing uh, by clicking here you can select a product or you can create a custom url for example you are directing the whole traffic to your sales page you can put that url here campaign name source name and done one campaign will be created you can copy this link and then you can send traffic to that link and all the links will be tracked you can create uh, your budget etc also here so that it will you what is the ROI based on the links if someone referred by that link buys a product then that will be added in revenues be very useful too similarly in orders you see all the orders which have been placed so far right with the license keys the dates we it has a search filter the other filters are also there based on like product you can filter this and now these tags all products add you know, for adding products and you know their categories so in all products you see all the products which we have been created right whenever you create a product you see like this you get a product buy now link which can be used across your site for example i am using this link on this page particular page right uh, for example not this one this one uh, sample page is the link right when you click here a pop up will appear it will ask for the email id and it will be purchased and this is the powered by digipro link which you can set in your remove from your settings area so this is a very uh, useful uh, I mean feature of this plugin, this system, which allows you to you know uh, link share buy now links to any of the web I mean, uh, pages of your website. And here you set your pricing option. It is I mean, whether it's a one time or recurring. Right? If it's recurring, then what all the other fields? The first price, then recurring period, the price after first payment, total billing cycles, etc. And here enable licensing whether you want to enable licensing or not if you yes if you say yes then how many uh, allowed domains will be there for example if it's unlimited you need mention zero and if you 
want this particular product to be used on 10 domains then ask them 10 then it, you need to put 10 here then license validity it will be valid for years or months or whatever time then deliverables all these deliverables will be added here the deliverables which users will be getting in the dashboard area for example here if someone buys one particular product general book then all the download will be listed here with their license keys and the purchase the expired date will also be coming here so if the license expired they will see this renew link when they click here they will be directed to the renew page and there they can set for how many time period they want that particular license to be enabled so this is the feature of WPDG Pro here you mention change log and here redirect settings area you mention you can create your own funnel basically after purchase of this product where the users will be redirected will be mentioned here Right. so all these things will be here in when you add a product or edit a product and this is the dashboard area where users will be able to download their products they'll be you know uh, able to manage their account their password etc they'll be doing it from here they can change the password they can change their own details transaction history will be coming here and uh, for example which particular product they have bought and what was the payment mode invoice number etc and this is a backward button of course and uh, one more uh, important facility which we have given in this is for example if someone buys this particular link right and if you want to give them a direct buy now link then what you need to do is instead of placing this link here you can give them a link like this one and just mention hash buy now so directly they'll be able to buy that product you'll be able to see that pop-up which comes when they click on this particular link right for example this one this will be appearing here so directly they can buy from here so this is the most beautiful feature of this plugin similarly we have uh, if i show you this edit page right we have membership lock pages for example this particular page will be shown to accessible to the buyers of which particular product if i select all then this particular product will be uh, this page will be available to all those users you just need to add this in the dashboard menu right and uh, if you want to uh, uh, available it for avail it for like one particular product users then if someone buys this product then only this product will be visible this is the beauty of this uh, feature page view i mean blocking membership pages and this is a drift feature for example if someone buys a product then after how long this product will be available by default it will be available immediately but if you want that this page should be available then after seven days you just mention seven here days here and then only this page will be available otherwise it will show coming soon now these are the awesome important features which your uh, i mean wp digipro core plugin gives you thank you